But I always tell people that, like the story because I told you I was like big on animals and stuff like that before I got into um, the arts and stuff like that. And um, the one thing that I used to love about sharks is that sh in order for a shark to breathe, you know, oxygen, pump oxygen through its gills, it had to be moving forward. So sharks, even when they sleep, they're always mm -hmm. maintaining a forward, you know, motion through the water. If they're standing still, they're not pumping oxygen through their, their gills or if they're going backwards, you know, you know what that is. They're not yeah. breathing, period. Right. So the shark is always advancing. <laughs> and so I'm you've just, just given like, me a slight bit of like respect for sharks because up until now I'm like why do we need them they're scary they're you know they're gorgeous to look at but oh, oh man, my no, god they, they represent for me they represent something that like is I love that I live by it's just and I always say steady moving like a shark I always yeah. tell people that I'm like steady moving like a shark people are like what does that mean I'm like well you know <laughs> you know how a shark breathes and they're just like okay I would have never pinned you for somebody that's interested in you know so young Jared who's into like animals that. into pale, um, you know dinosaurs and all that yeah. paleontology right yeah, yeah 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 where does the shift to arts come where does the shift to become not just a tapper or a hoofer a virtuoso you're listening to the Broadway Podcast Network